Hey, this is Ruggiero again, and in this tutorial, I just wanted to uh, go through a quick overview of the features of Magic Content Wizard. Um, that's really where you would actually start, since um, obviously you've got an empty blog. Now, what you want to do first is, is get all the content into your blog, um, and then we'll monetize that. So your first step is going to to be to actually create that content, um, and you'll use Magic Content Wizard to do that. Um, just to show you that this blog doesn't have anything in it at the moment, I'm going to click on um, on the blog's main homepage and just give you a quick show here. Okay, not found, so there's absolutely nothing in this in this blog at the moment. I'm going to go back to to the control panel and go to Magic Content Wizard. Okay, now um, it's a pretty straightforward actually. Uh, and there's a lot of self-explanatory things here and we've also included tool tips next to each one of the functions that will be able to um, help you when you're not sure about a certain feature uh, just hover over the tooltip and it will give you some explanation as to what each feature does essentially magic content was it scrapes um, three or four different content sources now um, we're looking for content in the form of articles or, or at least written content and images and video, and we also do have um, the ability to to put comments into your into your posts as well, which gives all your posts a a well-rounded, established sort of feel to it. Um, when somebody arrives on a on a blog and sees that you've got all this content, images, videos, and there's comments there as well, um, it kind of uh, it gives the people a feeling that this this blog has got traffic to it and people are taking you seriously so that's a really big benefit um, the categories here are quite simple we allow you to choose a specific category to to post the the scrape run to at the moment I only have uncategorized I haven't ha added any other categories I'll do that in a moment um, when we actually do the scrape run and um, so you can actually choose a category here to post all the key, all the scrapes the scrape posts to. Then layout template. This is a very cool um, recent feature which we've added. You're actually able to decide how to lay out your content relative to the written article or the written content in that post. So in this case, you've got image on the left hand side. Your content will wrap around it, and the video will be up top. And then you've got image left video bottom, image right video bottom, and image right video top. Um, the nice thing about these templates is actually that it gives you a lot of control. I will show you in some in future movies or future tutorials how you're actually able to manipulate these templates and add other information in between the images, videos, or um, or just move the design around as you want to. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility here, and I'll I'll address those in a in a future video tutorial. Uh, automatically publish posts just simply means that when the scrape run is complete, it will take that post and physically publish it or set it to be scheduled for publishing. It uh, if you untick this option, um, all the scrapes will be posted as drafts, which means that you can then go in and have a look at those without actually having them published to the web page and then you can manually publish them if you want to do that. Uh, exclude duplicate keywords. This is our duplicate keyword filter. What it does is it makes sure that any keywords that you enter into this box over here on the left hand side um, have not already got content scraped for them in previous scrape runs for this particular block. It also, or at least um, by default, WordPress Magic will always look for duplicate keywords here. So if I put in test and test, um, on the list here, it will always make sure that there's only one of those keywords appearing here. Um, whether or not you tick or untick this, it will always filter out any additional keywords that have been um, duplicates in this list here. Uh, use article title. This feature basically allows you to use the scraped article's title as the title of your post. If you leave this unchecked, it will use the keyword that you've entered in on in this list here as the title of your post. Okay, then you have the start date and end date. This is the time range that you want your posts to be evenly published across. So let's say you've got 100, uh, 100 keywords, which would create 100 posts. You would want to have, say, two keywords posted per day or two posts posted per day. That means that you're looking at 50 days. So you would um, select your start date, which you can backdate 
so let's say from the 1st of August for example and your end date would be around the 20th of September which would give you a roughly about 20 days um, oh sorry 50 days which means 100 keywords you'll have two two scrapes publishing or rather two posts publishing on a daily basis until the 20th of September so that's how that feature works the clear scrap history um, is linked indirectly with exclude duplicate keywords if you want to rerun any any scrape um, for whatever reason or or um, starts fresh then what you can do is clear the scrap history here which means that uh, magic content wizard doesn't recall any previous scrap history doesn't have any duplicate information and you can actually run that scrape again this feature we're actually going to be moving into a maintenance feature uh, maintenance tab over on the left hand side here when we do have that complete so look for that in the maintenance tab okay then under advanced options if you just click on that a few more options will drop down and um, we've added a few options here. We're probably going to be adding a few more as we go. Uh, and basically, the max image dimensions, what it does is it looks at the image that we're scraping and it looks at the width and the height of that image and it maintains the aspect ratio, but it tries to get to a maximum of 200 wide in this case by 200 high. So if your um, or if the image being scraped is say 300 by 150 um, it will reduce the width to 200 and maintain the aspect ratio for the height to uh, whatever that would be probably around 100 um, if it were the other way around say you had a 150 by 300 then it would do the same thing in reverse so you've always got an image that always fits into these two dimensions it will never be bigger than this then video dimensions you set the width of the video and we will take care of the aspect ratio being maintained at a 4.3 which is the normal aspect ratio used for for web videos at the moment so if you choose I don't know 450 wide it will set the height to 338 for you um, the number of comments this is a slightly uh, inaccurate um, description because really it is comment reply pairs we are scraping uh, or creating your comments using the source Yahoo articles. What we didn't want to have happen is that you had five or six comments that were all questions with no answers. And that looks like you know you, nobody ever answers. It doesn't look like you have any real interactivity on your blog. Um, if I land on a blog and I see five questions with no answers, that immediately gives me a bit of a cold feeling. It feels like the blog is not really responsive to its, to its visitors. So the number of comments is actually a number of comment reply pairs because we will post the uh, the question as a comment and the answer as a reply to that comment and uh, you can choose how many of these sets you want now there are occasions where Yahoo Answers doesn't have a reply but that's that's fine or an answer um, so you'll have just the question there but you'll have a good mix up so, which is what we're after then the filter duplicate comments we've actually given you this option because you don't necessarily want to filter duplicate comments across your blog um, considering the fact that you've got a maximum of five per post what may happen if you do filter the duplicate comments is because one comment is on appears on another post you may end up with four comments or three comments or even no comments on a post depending on whether or not those comments already exist on another post because the keyword is very very similar um, so you have the option of ha making sure that, you th that the comments never appear anywhere else in your post which means that you'll have very very unique content across your across your posts um, but of course you you pay the price of having potentially less comments than if you were to tick this or rather leave it unticked um, and basically up top here you can go into the defaults if you like if you use the, the system often enough and you have a certain way that you like to do things you can choose for example that you want to always have the image on the right and the video at the bottom um, you could say that you always want to have drafts to start off with and you want your images to be uh, 220 by 200 and you want say 10 comments and if you save these defaults then what will happen is that magic content wizard will always remember what your default options are and it will actually put them in here for you and you'll see here automatically pu uh, uh, published post has been unchecked 
and if I look over here my image dimensions is 220 and the number of comments now is actually 10 and not 5. So um, that's just a quick overview of, of Magic Content Wizards features and in the next video I'm going to take you through a scrape run and so you can actually have a look at what you can expect. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.